Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to remove large unwanted objects from your photos. I think this photo is a good one to do the demonstration from. While the composition is good, I think it could be made a little bit stronger if we were to remove the two birds from the left hand side. I think it would make the composition look a little bit more simpler and maybe even a little bit more dramatic as well. So the first thing that we need to do whenever we're making these kind of edits is to make a copy of our background. This is to make sure that we don't make any of the edits to our original layer. So I'm just going to take our background layer and I'm just going to drag it down to the new layer icon, which will make a copy of our background layer. The next step is to choose the marquee tool from our toolbox and make a selection around the birds, making sure that we include the shadow as well. I'm just going to pull this selection over to the right hand side because this side of the image is where we're going to get our patch from. Now I'm going to copy this selection onto a new layer by clicking Command J or Control J on a PC. Now I'm just going to hide the background layers. And as you can see, our selection has been made onto a new layer. I'm just gonna enable the background layers again. The next step is to move the patch over our bird. So I'm just gonna pull this selection over to the right hand side and right off the bat, it doesn't look very natural because the left-hand side is lighter than the right-hand side. But we're going to use the Transform tool to help us with this. So I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to go to Transform. And I'm going to select Flip Horizontal. And as you can see, that's flipped the orientation of our selection. And now the darker side's on the left side and the lighter is on the right. Now that looks pretty natural except for the hard line that you can see around the selection that we had made. So I'm going to soften this edge by using a masking around the layer. So I'm going to select the mask. And as you can see, that place a masks on, on our layer one. Now what we need to do is grab a brush tool. We need to make sure that it has a softness lower than 25. And we just want to paint black on our mask along that edge to hide that hard edge. Now remember, black conceals and white reveals, so using black's going to hide that edge. I'm just going to hide our background copies for a second, just so you can see how our selection looks like. And this can sometimes help you make sure that there is no hard edges on your patch. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to enable my background layers again. And as you can see, right off the bat, that looks pretty natural, pretty clean. I'm just going to preview the patch before and after. I'll just zoom into the area as well, and we can see that it does look pretty seamless. There isn't a, a hard line. So I'm just going to zoom out, and I'm going to merge this layer down to our background layer. I'm going to select from the flyout menu, merge down. And again, just previewing before and after, you can see that the selection in the patch that we'd made is now a part of the background copy. Now one of the final steps that you need to do when you're making these kind of compositions is look for repeating patterns. This is very important. And right off the bat, I can see a few. If you look here, you can see a lump of dirt here, a node here and here. These are mirrored here, here and here. And of course, this is because this is where we sampled this area from. So what we need to do is zoom into these areas and use our clone tool just to clean these distractions up. Make sure that we're not seeing any repeating patterns. Sometimes I'll even go over to the other side and remove them as well, just so that there's no distractions and nothing's drawing your eye to uh, a repeating pattern. So I'm going to zoom out. Again, I'm just going to preview before and after. Again, I think that looks pretty good. So the final step that I'm going to do is just flatten our file. And there we go. We're done. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.